masterpiece. Like Evelyn, a lot of us feel like we never realize our best version of ourselves. We never realize our dreams, our joys, our strengths, our potential. And this is a multiverse film about what it means to be the worst version of you, trying to become the ultimate version of you. Created by the Daniels, it is one of the best films of the year. A lot of people think it will win an Oscar. It certainly deserves it. I think that Kihu Kwan, who plays Wayman, Michelle Yao as Evelyn, um, Stephanie Hsu as Joy, all three leads absolutely deserve awards. They were fantastic because this is such a unique film that asked them to be, you know, do all kinds of action stunts, cry, laugh, be funny. They had to go through such a range of emotions because ultimately this is a tale of someone realizing that her worst fear came true. She did not become the best version of herself. Now what? And I think that that speaks to us, especially in this weird post-COVID, not post-COVID world of what could I have been? Did I really try hard enough for my dreams? Is there still time? Can I do better? Why do I feel so guilty for things that I don't even know if I did them, if I could do them? Why do I feel culpable for a world that I don't feel a part of? And the Daniels, they made um, Swiss Army Man, which is one of the funniest, most original films as well. And this film really feels timeless. It is one of the best films of the year, but it goes beyond that because I will watch this film 10 million times again and always feel impacted by it because I don't know if we ever stop judging ourselves. If we ever stop seeing our life as something we survived and then dissect how we could have survived better, rather than seeing it as something to admire, admire that we survived and then trust because we survived that we can live. And that is Michelle Yao's Evelyn's journey. When we meet Evelyn, she's so bitter. And a lot of people are bitter right now. Actually, with that being said, let me pluck all those cords of bitterness away from you because that stops us from reaching our potential. So often, it's because we're so angry that we didn't do before or that we didn't do things right the first way or any way. We don't try again or try for the first time, actually. So. <sighs> when we meet Evelyn, she's tired. She's bitter. She's constantly angry and sad and just kind of trying to get through the day and wishing it was already over before it began because she's being audited by the IRS. She's in a laundromat, a co-owner with her husband, Wayman, and she doesn't know, was this my best? I was supposed to be a laundromat owner married to a guy who's so sweet sometimes that I wonder if he actually is good at life. Um, and with a daughter who has now says that she's a lesbian, you know, quotes, because she doesn't believe it. And she doesn't believe in herself and her lack of faith in her family, in their decisions, comes from a lack of faith in her choices. Because so often, the hate we carry for others, the judgments we carry for others stems from how we judge ourselves. We can't give to others what we don't give ourselves. And that's what's so sad about Evelyn. She's harsh on everyone. She doesn't believe or trust in anyone because she doesn't do that with herself. Plucking away any mistrust. I just want you to digest what I said. She doesn't believe in herself and that inability to believe in herself, that's why she doesn't believe in anyone. And we all have relationships in our lives. We all have people in our lives that we doubt, that we push away because we are so far from ourselves within. Waymond, um, played by uh, Kihu Kwan, 
who is so sweet, is probably my favorite character because all my life I've been a kind person. And kind people aren't considered to be warriors. They're not considered to be strong. Often because of my kindness, people have tried to push me, try to test me, try to see if I can be rolled, like steamed over rather. And he puts it so beautifully. I'm a warrior. I just don't fight with the same tools. When we think of war, you know, it's sword versus sword. For him, it's sword versus a rose. And sometimes people are so stunned at what you brought to the fight, so stunned by its beauty, by its difference, that they actually do put down their weapons. And seeing him grow and maneuver Evelyn's bitterness to transfer it into love and become a strong character who was always strong but revealed to be it was so moving because in some ways Evelyn's journey as Joy um, as Adam and her daughter Joy St Stephanie Shu as Joy their journey is to become him to realize that the goodness you give does return to you because you feel good because you become good and there's no question or doubt about whether good is here because you are here and all those who try to test you fail because they don't change you you are just a good person that because of their negativity became stronger wow how powerful is that and as Evelyn journeys through this multiverse, the movie is absolutely hilarious. I mean, she finds out in another world she was this rich and famous movie star that was actually really alone. Um, she was a chef that was being slighted by the new guy with a raccoon in his head. Um, she's a rock at one point. Uh, she goes through so many different lives and the question is, what is your potential? What are all the skills you never learned? All the, the secrets and emotions you haven't even told yourself. And watching that is so, 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 so moving. Because what it teaches people is that you are an endless universe. Don't worry about the multiverse, about all the different versions of you, because they're already within you. Use your life as an endless discovery. Now I'm going to infuse you with some clear quartz for healing and some carnelian for courage. Oh my God, that was so good. I hope you felt the good vibes. I cried with Michelle Yao's character of Evelyn and I cried with Stephanie Hsu's joy. She's absolutely magnificent in this film, in part because she embodies a depression of feeling like A feeling like nobody accepts you at your best and you're too tired of trying to be it. If nobody wants to see you happy, if nobody wants to love you as you learn to love yourself, love the woman you love, love the people you love, then why even bother? I think we've all been at one point rejected by somebody we really admired, betrayed, and she's definitely betrayed by her mom because she doesn't accept her sexuality. But the sadness that she emotes, that's based in fear and grief, fear that you will never be respected for who you are, grief at knowing that you probably won't be respected by all, even the ones you love, and the tiredness of always having to carry that fear and grief 
she just radiates it and she does it so hilariously because Joy, another multiverse version of her, is able to, like Evelyn, tap into multiverses. But the the constant connection to everything, everywhere, all at once, exhausts her. Because she feels the pain of every version of her, of always trying and trying and never feeling like she ever achieved. While Evelyn uses the multiverse or rather takes as an opportunity to gain through to gain potential to see so much of herself joy has peaked evelyn is rising to that peak and once they meet the film becomes a discussion because the film is three parts on what does keep you grounded if you can be the best version of yourself and still feel sadness what does matter and in the end, via Raymond, who's my favorite character, Giovanni kills it. He's funny. He's sweet. He's just perfect in this role. He makes you cry with his ability to be so loving. And in the end, what they realize is that for all that you achieve outside of you, it's what you achieve within you that makes you feel full. And you need people to do that. You need to love somebody. You need to love yourself to love that somebody because you get the gold statues like Oscars, you walk the red carpets, but then your daughter hugs you. Your husband says, I love you. And you feel full. You feel good because they can see you. All those other things, the money, the fame, those are the things you see outside of you, but they see within you, and that's why you feel good. You see within you, and that's why you feel good. So I'm gonna do a swoop. See within you. See within you, see within you, see within you. See within you, see within you, see within you. See within you, see within you, see within you. See within you, see within you, see within you. See within you, see within you, see within you do do. See within you, see within you, see within you do do. See within you, see within you be. See within you who. See within you who. See within you who. See within you who. I'm trying to make those good noises. I love the noise of like water. See within you, see within you, see within you be. See within you, 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 see within you. some wood wood is so perfect because wood picks up negative energy but it's also about solidity it's kind of about closing those wounds that we carry that even when they're closed they still have a little bit of scab and like wood is just such a perfect perfect energy to be like whoop whoop Because at the end of this film, I felt like every character seals their wounds. They realize that all that matters, all at once, everything, everywhere, all at once, don't mean anything if you don't have love. Love for yourself and love for people and that connection. I don't know, I love that. Because I want to live like that. I want to be that. And sometimes I doubt that. I doubt that others want to, and thus I hide, which is why I connected so much with joy. God, this film is so random. I mean, there's a point where there are rocks, and it's this gorgeous scene, again, on what is the meaning of life? What is the real meaning of potential? How are you really defining yourself? The special effects are great. The storyline is brilliant. And it's so random and good, you're going to love this film. You really are. It, I believe it's already out in all, across all theaters. I think by April 24th, it should be fully released. And it's an A24 film, so A24, remember that. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, brought to you by the Daniels. Check it out. Thank you for watching this ASMR Raggy movie.